In this video, we are going to repair this DualSense controller that has a problem where the microphones are no longer working. Let me show you this issue. So, we have the DualSense controller plugged into the PlayStation 5. So, you can already see that this is the one that's working because it's picking up my voice and you can see the levels actually reading on the actual uh, screen of the PlayStation 5. I'm now going to swap this controller with the one that's not working and show you the difference. So, let's take this out. And I'm now going to put in the one that's not working. So, plug it in. And it's turned on. So now I'm going to use this controller now. Go to the mic, adjust mic levels. And as you can see, the difference, there is nothing. It's not picking up anything really. It's picking up, uh, it's not picking up the same level of sensitivity like the other controller. So if I was to rub my finger, it'll pick that up, it will. But it just won't pick up anything else. It won't pick up my voice, nothing will do. So we need to replace the, uh, the microphone inside this DualSense controller, and we're gonna do that right now. For this repair, we'll need a few tools, such as a plastic splugger, a pick, and tweezers. We first start by inserting the pick underneath the middle trim of the controller, releasing the clips that are secured to the main controller shell. Once this is done, we can free remove it. We then insert our plastic splugger inside the L1 and R1 buttons to remove them. We then remove the four screws located around the controller and use a pick and splugger to release the clips holding both shells together. With this we can now remove the back plate to give us our first look inside the DualSense controller. Before we do the teardown, we need to remove the battery. We can remove the ribbon cable for the first microphone and then remove the back plate and all the ribbon cables attach to the main board. And finally remove the last ribbon cable for the front microphone. With this we can slowly remove the main board from the shell. So we can get access to the front microphone, we turn the front shell over. Be careful as there are four wires which are connected to the main board that make the vibration motors work. The front shell now turned over, we can now see the front microphone. We will carefully remove this using tweezers. So with both microphones now removed, we need to replace them with the replacement parts. The replacement parts do not have the rubber around the microphones, so we'll need to carefully remove them from the broken microphones and swap them over to the new ones. Now remember to take your time and don't rush this process. Now once done, it should look something like this. So with that done, we can now install the new microphone into the front shell. We again turn the controller back over, put the main board back into the shell and reinstall the surrounding ribbon cables. And install the ribbon cable for the front microphone. We then reinstall the battery back plate and screw it down. We then install the brand new back microphone and then the battery. We can now reinstall the back plate and making sure that both shells are clipped together. We reinstall all four screws, then reinstall the L1 and R1 buttons. And finally, reinstalling the middle trim.
So with the DualSense controller now fully reassembled, let's test out the new microphones on the PS5 and see if it's fixed the issue. So we have now replaced the two microphones in this DualSense controller. Now remember, we had one that was working perfectly and this one was not working at all. So let's hope that replacing the two microphones will now fix that issue where last time the microphones were not working at all. So what I'm gonna do is gonna do the same way as I did before and I'm gonna plug the USB-C cable into the controller so it's charging. Let's now power it on. So as you can see, it's detected it. Let's go all the way to mic, go to adjust mic level, and wow, it's working, brilliant. So that's fantastic. So let's uh, just do a little test. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Brilliant. And then just rub my finger over it. Rub my finger in the back. Brilliant, so that's working, that's fantastic. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to power this uh, controller off, and now I'm gonna test this controller, which is the working controller before, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna power it on, go all the way to the same settings I did before, go to adjust mic level, and as you can see, this one's working as well, which is fantastic. So let's do the same thing that we did last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Run my finger over it. Run my finger at the back. So it's working, fantastic. So we have two working dual sense controllers now, which is brilliant. So if you have a similar issue, you now know how to repair your dual sense controller with a really simple fix, which will only cost you three pounds. So I hope this video has helped you, um, where is it, and will uh, save you a lot of money It will uh, instead of having to go out and buy another DualSense controller, which is now uh, nearly up to £60 now. Yep, so I hope this video has helped you, and until the next video, bye for now.